Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I am Dr. Ainul Ashiki Binti Marzuki. I will be presenting the preliminary analysis on the influence of institutional shareholders on the relationship between ESG and firm performance. This study irrelevant because of uh, recently there are um, many attention has been uh, much attention has been focused on the sustainability practices and ESG factors. Um, so sustainability practices, particularly ESG factors, are increasingly recognized as pivotal drivers for enhancing financial performance within companies fostering long-term resilience and also bolstering market competitiveness. Um, why we focus on institutional investors? Um, institutional investors is a major stakeholders in, in the markets, play a crucial role in championing sustainable business behaviors among invested companies. Does their growing shareholdings in Malaysian firms signify an increasing commitment to advancing sustainable investment practices? Does exerting substantial influence on corporate sustainability strategies and governance standards? The importance of engaging uh, with investing companies in a stakeholder economy. Uh, so in this context, of a stakeholder economy, fostering robust engagement between institutional investors and investing companies on sustainable practices emerge as a vital strategic um, imperative. This dialogue facilitates the alignment of business objectives with broader societal and environmental goals, contributing to sustainable value creation and fostering a balanced approach to stakeholders' interests. Uh, the aim of this study is to investigate the impact of institutional investors on the relationship between ESG ratings and the financial performance of non-financial listed companies in Malaysia for the period from 2012 to 2021. So basically, our main research questions is how do institutional investors influence the relationship between ESG ratings and financial performance among non-financial companies in Malaysia? And the subsidiary research questions are what is the effect of ESG ratings on the financial performance of these companies? So the, our specific research objectives are to determine the extent to which institutional investor shareholdings influence the relationship between ESG ratings and financial performance, and also to assess the impact of ESG ratings on financial performance of listed companies in Malaysia. So this study, since this is only preliminary analysis, this study only comprise 30 non-financial companies listed in Malaysia. Um, the selection is based whether the company has ESG ratings uh, and a data on, uh, a complete data on performance. Uh, the analysis encompasses data from 2012 to 2021. Um, does this provide a comprehensive view of the long-term trends and dynamic within the Malaysian business landscape? So our key variables are ESG ratings as it serves as a measure of sustainability practices. And for performance, uh, we focus on return on asset as a proxy. Uh, and for control variables, uh, firm size uh, and uh, leverage. Um, and we also um, um, include institutional investors, shareholdings, um to see whether uh, institutional investors has um has effect on the um performance uh, ESG ratings and performance does this study employs a panel static regression analysis to examine the intricate relationship between ESG ratings from form, form performance and the influence of institutional investors so this is the uh, descriptive statistic. 
So for ROA written on asset, the minimum is negative 10.4 and the maximum is 75.32. This is in terms of a ratio. Um, and then uh, ESG, the minimum score is 21, while the uh, maximum score is 85. Um, the mean ESG ratings is 52. Uh, leverage, uh, the minimum is... 0.42 and the maximum leverage is 68%. In average, um, companies in Malaysia uh, has 28% um, uh, leverage. Next is size. Uh, minimum asset size is 6. 6.0 while the Average is 7.27. .7. And this is uh, the last variable is institutional shareholdings. The minimum is 0 0.54 and the mean is 28.9. Maximum is 80%. Yeah? So the average return on asset is 9.8, suggesting effective asset utilization within the selected non-financial Malaysian firms. Mm, and the average of ESG ratings of 52.18% shows moderate, eh, moderate practices on sustainability um, performance. Eh? So this is the result. So the Hausman test is used to ascertain whether the fixed effect model or random effect model is more appropriate. Um, the probability value is 0 0.023, which indicates that a uh, fixed effect model is chosen over random effect. So based on these results, uh, it shows that um, Insensitive investors have a significantly negative influence on the relationship between ESG ratings and uh, financial performance. So, um, insensitive investors means that uh, those invest those um, shareholders uh, that are not uh, sensitive in in the I mean investors who are focusing on long term long term performance. Okay, so um so this uh group of investors actually have negative influence uh on the relationship between ESG ratings and financial financial performance. It is uh significant but uh negative. So this study finds that institu institutional investors negatively moderate the relationship between ESG rating and financial performance, uh, shedding light on the intricate interplay of ESG, institutional investors, and corporate success. Institutional investors recognize the material impact of ESG factors, but their involvement may entail short-term costs. Understanding this dynamic is crucial for sustainable investing. So that is um the um the end of the presentation uh, thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh